guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little different and as I literally just walked in the door, sunglasses still on and all, I wanted to share with you guys my $25 Aldi haul or what I got for the week at the Aldi store for $25. It was technically like $24.85 but we'll say 25 keep it even if you don't know what Aldi is um, it is what I believe to be a national chain it might be in certain states I'm not sure I'll have to look that up if you know leave me a comment below and fill me in I'm not really sure which states have Aldi and which do not but um, on average the products in the store are cheaper than national chains and they do that by um, lowering their staff um, just they don't have cart service like you have to pick up a cart and put a quarter in to get it bring your own bags but in return for you doing that little bit of extra work prices of your groceries are a lot cheaper um, the first thing I want to talk about in this haul is actually downstairs in the fridge I didn't want to bring it up but I got a dozen eggs for 49 cents they're normally a dollar at Aldi which is a great deal on its own but today they had like a special half off egg so they were 49 cents for a dozen large eggs couldn't beat that I also I'm gonna be doing a lot of green smoothies this week so I got three of these Let's put them up close these are just bags of spinach normally at the grocery store I go to these bigger bags retail between I want to say $2.99 and $3.50 per bag at Aldi today these were a dollar 25 so I picked up one, two, three. That was a pretty good deal. The next thing I picked up was this Melville Whole Grain Protein Granola. Oh, this is pretty good. Uh, whether you have it on its own or with yogurt, it's a pretty good deal. I got a whole bag of California mandarin oranges. Am I saying that right? Yeah, little mandarins. These are nice to just throw in your bag, like on your way to work. You just want like a little pick-me-up snack between breakfast and lunch. I'm gonna try these specially selected strawberry soft licorice. I don't know what's so special about them, but I'm gonna try them out. They look really good, and I think they're my boyfriend's favorite candy. Let's try one now, shall we? Oh yeah, they were really good. This really was a splurge. Probably would have been like $2 less if I hadn't gotten this, but I really wanted it and I stayed on budget, so. I got a bunch of 12, no, 10. 10 Del Monte bananas. And I like to get them when they're a little bit green because I already have about three days worth of smoothies um, in the terms of frozen bananas in my freezer. So I won't touch these for at least three days. So I like to get them when they're nice and green so I know that when I need them, they'll be ready. I like my bananas to be fully ripe with a little bit of brown on the outside skin. I find they are sweeter that way and I enjoy them. Whether I eat them plain or in a smoothie, they just taste better to me that way. Ugh. Moving on. My one complaint is they don't let you buy like single onions. There are some things like sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, and onions you can't buy a single. You have to buy them in a little bunch. But either way, I got six red onions for I think $1.10. I really only needed one, so I'll have to find something to do with the other five. Math is good. Uh, moving on, I bought myself another big thing of old fashioned oats. I love these because they're a dollar and you get 30 breakfasts out of these. Ugh. The one thing they do let you buy single is avocados, which are nice. Um, I want to say this was somewhere in the ballpark of a dollar, and I will use this in salads or on breakfast toast. Oh, favorite buy of the day. Even better than the 49 cent eggs were their strawberries. Strawberries are not exactly in season just yet. The Whole Foods, they're $6 organic at Whole Foods, $3 at like a Kroger or a Meyer and $1.49 at Aldi. And these, I don't know if you can see in the viewfinder, they're nice and they're ripe, they're ready to go, they look amazing. I'm not sure if you can see them or not, but they are fantastic. Favorite find of the day. The next one is a boyfriend's pick. He got Greek non-fat vanilla yogurt. I think he likes to put this on granola. I don't mind yogurt every once in a while. It's a nice little treat. He got Greek yogurt, huh?
And then I like to get Rice Krispies. I like them as like a quick breakfast if I'm on the run, or I like to make vegan gluten-free dessert. If I use six cups of this, a bag of organic marshmallow, which I got for 50 cents on clearance last week, and then I have Earth Balance vegan butter. This plus the butter and marshmallows make vegan gluten-free Rice Krispies, and they taste just like the ones you get from Kellogg's. So I highly recommend those. This was a really good find as well. And then not something I got from Aldi, but a gift that I got from my mom for Christmas that I think is really cute. And I take with me to the store, but I always end up having to buy a bag anyway. It's this nice little satchel and it says, can you see it? It says talk organic to me. I think it's so cute. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. This was my Aldi $25 grocery haul. I've never done a grocery haul before. If you have any tips or tricks, leave them down below or leave me anything you buy at Aldi that you recommend I should give a try. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for future videos and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.